A man has been found not guilty of murdering a cannabis burglar beaten to death and dumped in the road. Thomas Wagger was found dead in Cardiff, having received injuries to his head, mouth, his ribs, arms and bruising to his brain. One of the five defendants accused of murdering Mr Wagger was discharged after the prosecution offered no evidence in respect of his case. Mario Cato, who was 27, was found not guilty of murder and of participating in the activities of an organised crime group. A trial at Newport Crown Court previously heard Mr Wagger and a man called Carl Davis travelled from London and broke into a cannabis factory with plants worth £120,000 on Newport Road January the 28th last year. A gardener who lived and worked at the factory notified members of an organised crime gang who descended on the property and had sacked the burglars. Mr Wagger was said to have beaten with a baseball bat, a bamboo cane and half a house brick. It is alleged he was dragged out of the house and thrown into a Mercedes and kidnapped. After his death, his body was said to have been dumped in Westfield Road before it was found that same evening. The cause of death was later given as obstruction to the airways by blood. Gildas Melaha, Mehal Dahana, Joseph Noshi and Hisland Aliaj all deny murder. This Monday, the court heard evidence from Mr Davis in the form of a video interview in which he described hearing Mr Wagger shouting help after he fled the cannabis factory. He was later arrested by police as he tried to take a train back to London. Mr Davis said he, Mr Wagger and two men jumped through a back door at Newport Road after unscrewing a window and described the house as blacked out. Two rooms in the house were being used to grow cannabis plants. He said they found the gardener sleeping and took his phone to stop him from calling for backup. But the gardener, which is the defendant Aliaj, jumped out of the window. It was put to him by the defence barrister Stephen Moses KC. He and the group trapped Aliaj in the room and sprayed him with acid or ammonia. But Mr Davis denies this. It was also put to him that he and others had come armed with a saw and a knife. But the witness claimed these were already at the property and the only weapon they took was a screwdriver. Mr Davis said, Four or five non-speaking English men arrived with baseball bats and one of the men hit him in the arm. He responded by throwing a plant pot at him. He said more men came up the stairs as he tried to kick them back and they tried to pull his jacket over his head as one of them smacked him over the head from behind. A witness said he managed to push himself out of the room and out of the house before hiding and sleeping in a nearby shed and walking to the train station. Mr Moses said, you shouted, come on, let's fucking fight him. That was your intention, wasn't it? To fight off anyone who got in your way of removing those cannabis plants. Mr Moses put it to Mr Davis that he, Mr Wagger and the two other men who had travelled to Cardiff with them were dressed in all black and were wearing face masks to avoid detection. He also claimed the group had taken saws and a knife to the burglary. The barrister says, I am going to suggest this was a well executed and professionally planned journey of yours together with Mr Wagger and the two others to rob a cannabis factory at least one that night in Cardiff. Mr Davis denied this. He then continued, you were prepared to travel for three hours to rob cannabis without careful planning. He said, yeah. Mr Davis also denied he or the members of the team had carried out reconnaissance missions to stake out the factory or to ascertain when it would be the quietest. He said the burglary was going to benefit you individually and the group by lining your pockets with the sale of the drugs. Mr Davis says, eventually, yeah. And the barrister says, how much did you think you were actually going to make that night? He said, I ain't got a clue. So the court has previously been told that all of the defendants, except the guy that's been given a not guilty, Mario Quato, fled to Albania. The prosecutor said, Mr Quato went to ground in London where he was later arrested. And when he was arrested, Mr Bull said he lied and said that he had nothing to do with the crime and that he had not attended where he was later arrested. The four other defendants were arrested in Albania and extradited to the UK. So guys, this is a new story coming from Wales. If I get any further updates, I'll keep you guys informed. It's your boy GT. Keep it locked, keep it real.